Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. So today, I literally just finished filming this look and she arrived. The Westman Atelier Lip Suede in the Le Nudes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. So I'm so excited. So this is now available at Sephora. As of right now, it hasn't sold out yet. It is possible, but it will come back. It is also at Bernard Goodman and other retailers. It is sold out on the Westman Atelier website. Can I say, it comes in this box, but can I say how excited I am that I ordered a Westman Atelier product from Sephora and it actually came in its little bag. Like, I'm so happy. Here is the packaging. It's metal. It's very substantial. And it says here, the pouch is made in China and the, and the lip suede is made in Italy. It has an 18 month shelf life. And here are the four shades. The mirror is so cute and it comes with this little heart in the mirror. It's so cute. It's very luxe. I will say that. I'm going to use a refer two to swatch these and just clean it off on my microfiber cloth in between shades. So I'll start from the darkest and work my way down. I just don't want to dip my finger in here. Something about dipping my finger. Okay, so here are the shades swatched from top to bottom. I feel like the camera's washing out this shade right here. It is a very soft nude. They're all soft. They're not highly pigmented. Let's try them on the lips and then try some combos and see what happens. So here is the top shade. It's more pigmented on the lips than I thought it would be. It's soft, creamy, but I didn't expect this much pigment from that shade based on the swatch. But it's really pretty, but I also have more pigment on my lips than I do on my hand. It's very pretty. I like this shade. I feel like this nude shade will be too concealer lips, but let's give it a try. And my lips do this thing when I wipe color off that they just stay really pigmented. I didn't expect a big punch of color with these considering what the Westman Atelier line is all about, just simplistic beauty and enhancing your, cur your current beauty because you're all currently beautiful. I love what the line stands for. So that nude it allows the pigment of your lips to seep through. While still giving you, you know, the new lip. I think that's really pretty. That's a really pretty simplistic just nude that's like your lips but better just a little bit of an enhancement and you can easily add a liner 
and enhance these shades in any way you'd like. So let's move on to the light pink. Here is the light pink shade, which is the third from the top. I don't see much of a difference between the light pink and the nude. It's more of a softer pink, but the nude was so sheer and my lips are so pigmented that it was coming through and kind of gave the same effect. And now my lips are like dry here from like wiping them. But I really like the formula. It's not as slippery as a balm or a gloss. It's not as thick as a lipstick. It's like, like a Chantecaille lip veil without that extra slip, if that makes sense. It just feels like a nice creamy lipstick but like the lip veils are extra hydrating they're nice let's move on to the bottom shade So here's the bottom shade. I think this is my favorite shade. I'm all for a pinky nude. I love, love, love a pinky nude. I will say with the two center shades, to I felt like to really get that color, I needed to like dip my brush in there quite a few times and kind of build up the color. I understand it's a simplistic, a simplistic line, like enhance your beauty, but my favorites were the top shade and the bottom shade. I'm just going to mix all these shades together and see what we get. That is with all the shades mixed together. Now let's see, I am gonna go in with my finger. I feel like it's easier now that I dipped my brush and everything. So you can definitely soften the color of some by adding the, so I just added this shade into this shade. So you can definitely soften and lighten the shades and use different combos. But besides this one on its own and the nude on its own, I feel like the main look you're going to get most of the time is like this shade here, even when you mix them all together. I'm going to add a little of the deepest shade and see if it changes it any. So that did deepen it just a bit. But I feel besides deepening to get that this shade here, it's primarily going to be in this range, the shade that you're going to get. But it is a really nice formula. But it is a really nice formula. It's not drying. I like how hydrating it is, believe it or not. I love how it feels. I gotta see how this wears. I would throw this on top of my vanity 
for a quick, oh, let's throw it on. But I will say I'm, I wouldn't be one to dip my finger in there all the time. That's just me, it'll get my hands dirty. Then I can't touch anything. I'm not big for the brush application, but it's nice. I'm just gonna see if it deepens up how much it'll deepen up. And it really all depends on what lipstick shades you're into. So it does deepen up a bit, but not a ton. But I do like the shade. I liked it when it was lighter. I liked it when I deepened it. But if you're looking at the palette and you're not using this deepest shade, you're primarily going to be in this shade range up here. If you're if you exclude these two, you're going to be in this shade range up here. If you apply this shade and apply this over it, like and mix them, I feel like you're going to get this shade. If you apply this shade and then intensify it, you get this. So I really like it. I like it, but it really has to be something that you'll find yourself reaching for. One, do you feel comfortable dipping your finger in there and applying your lipstick? Two, if you plan on keeping this in your purse, are you going to have a brush in your purse if you don't like dipping your finger in there? Do you like applying for with a brush? Like those are the things that you just have to take into consideration. If you're considering this product, but it is beautiful, I, I got to give it that. The formula is beautiful. And even though when I rubbed my lips and I removed the product and I reapplied, you can't tell that I had all that dryness going on right here. I like it. It is hydrating. I do like the formula. Now it's all a matter of the test is will I reach for it? And I'll give you guys an update and let you guys know that. So did you guys pick it up? Have you been trying it? What have you been thinking? This is my first Westman Atelier lip palette. I like the formula. If I find myself reaching for it, I'll purchase the reds. But if not, I won't. But that's it, you guys. Until next time, don't forget, we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye. Bye.